All right, guys, haven't done a video in a while. Um, just been super busy. But I want to show you what I've been working on. Oh, another thing. This is, this is another story right here, this Prelude. I don't know if you guys are keeping up on my channel, but Prelude, uh, Prelude came back, but it's uh, in bad shape. The shop that it came from, that's a whole another video I'll make. Obviously, new addition. Volkswagen is gone, guys. Just got the truck, obviously, because I got the skis. Corolla is still in the back. Del Sol, I'm trying to sand that down and get that project going. But this, guys, is for all you jet ski people out there. I built this cooler. Go ahead and set this up real quick. Oh, man, these solar panel guys, for all you jet ski guys out there, battery tender solar charger. It's off right now, but let me see if this guy's on. No, there's no light out. All right, anyways, I'm going to pull this back. I'll link this in the description if you guys ever have them. Um, and this, these covers are pretty decent, too, for the price. Um, I'll link that in the description so you guys can check it out. All right, let's flip this up real quick. Let me put this down. All right, cool. Got the cover up and everything. All right, so here's the cooler. Put this up, put it up here. Okay, so this is the brand. I got it from a sports, uh, no, not sports academy, Academy Sports or Academy Outdoor, something like that. Um, I bought these brackets from Amazon. I'll link everything in the description, guys, that you're gonna need if you wanna create the same cooler. Um, down to the uh the what is this like rock climbers d ring or whatever you want to call it to the turnbuckles um to these little bungees you got another one here um and the gas cans gas cans are pretty cool because oh let me show you the inside before i even go to the back over there so it has a little dry storage so i keep my knife in there um, anchor blue cooper i think it's what it is cooper anchors I'll, I'll i'll put all this stuff in the description guys um this stuff here so, all right let's get to it so i had to drill into the cooler right then i put these well nuts on there so it doesn't leak it does have a small leak but i have to silicone the, the bolts so the water doesn't leak through the bolts um other than that that's the inside setup it is set up to uh, have a, um, if you want to do a live tank in here, if you're fishing all the time, you can put an aerator on the outside. Um, rod holders are detachable. You press up on these. I'm sure I can get it up. And it unlocks it and you can pull them off if you don't want them on there. Um, that's that. It's got this little door on the inside here. So you can flip it up so the rod can go all the way to the bottom. Or umbrella, whichever one you want to use. Um, it's got little cup holder things up top. It's got a little ruler up here. Uh, let's flip it around. Oh, let me put this stuff back in. So the cool thing about this uh, I made was, I think it's around, with all the materials and everything, you're probably looking around maybe 150 to do one of these versus spending four hundred dollars for just a rack so just give me one second guys let me all i'm going to do is i'm pretty much going to take this and latch it up to here real quick so i can show you all right cool got it on there um so yeah d-rings here hooks onto these you can adjust these buckles it stays enough distance away from the ski that's not going to damage it on the bottom it has little cushion pads for the cooler ready um these back pieces you could pop these open and remove the whole lid uh gas cans are on here and they're mounted i'll show you how i mounted those too they come with their own mounts and stuff this one's a little bit loose because i don't have it completely tight i should keep tightening it down it just becomes stable so it doesn't really have much movement so now it's not going to be wobbling around. Um, it's about 2.6 gallons of gas on the back here. Um, 
this is the one reason why I don't like to tighten it too much is because trying to unlatch it becomes a problem. Let me undo it this side. Show you guys real quick. So that's pretty much it. That's the mounting system I mocked up on the back. So you can put the two gas cans on there. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, how to tie it down from the outside. I'll show you with these straps here. This is what I just got in, so this is new. Um, it's not like a traditional ratchet strap. Well, it kind of is, but it's not at the same time. Uh, I bought this separate as well to protect the back area from the ratchet. Um, this guy comes down here and clips in there so you have it there you can brighten it up a little bit through there ratchet straps there you can even move this up if you wanted to I just have it right there for right now tighten it down so pretty much you're gonna have one there and then obviously the other one on the opposite side here to hold it down um, that's pretty much it guys that is my cooler setup. So, um, if you have any questions, shoot me a comment below. Uh, I'm gonna try to link everything I did here, the bungees and everything. I think I got a rod here just to show you guys how that setup is. Yeah, let me grab one of my rods. So I can show you that. So that's the rod set up there, but I don't like how far up it sits out. So it's got these little doors that I was showing you before. So you just push that little door up, able to drop it all the way through, which that looks a lot better where it's at there. And then from it popping out, take this guy here, turn it across the top. You plunge it on, and there you go. Now she ain't going anywhere. So that's that, and then obviously I got the umbrella too. Oh man, this umbrella is pretty cool. Let me see if I can find it for you guys. I'll find it and I'll link it so you guys can see it. Um, yeah, that sucks. It's somewhere, somewhere in this messy garage. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Ratchet strap, cooler's done. This took me about like maybe a day to set up, putting like all the stuff, like maybe an hour or so, mocking up everything, coming out here, and uh, just setting it up pretty much how I wanted it to be. So, gas cans are not the greatest gas cans, guys. These are from like China, I guess. So I had to sand down a little bit in here because the mold wasn't perfect. But once I sanded it down, it's easy to slide on and off. I'll show you real quick. See how that one slid on really easy. And then this guy right here, I didn't sand. So you kind of like, see how it stops a little bit? To like push it in. So I gotta sand down the inside there. So it's just how the mold is. The mold, how it is on the inside isn't that great, but yeah, that's it. At least I got an extra 2.6 gallons of reserve fuel this guy's holds it down and that's pretty much it and i got my little dry storage in the inside here so i got this knife too i wanted to mount this guy like out here somewhere i don't know yet i was gonna mount it somewhere on the outside but um yeah i'll, I'll link all this stuff guys if you guys want to build one it's pretty cool um i like it other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to do some more stuff here in the future just to update my channel. All right, guys. See you.